Hi guys, welcome back to So Salio. In today's video, I'm doing nappy bag essentials through the ages, so keep watching to find out all of those baby and toddler essentials that you need from newborn right up to age three. So if you're new around here, then hi, I'm Sally. I have two little ones, two and four, and I upload new videos every single week on kids, cakes and crafts. So if you like that kind of thing, then please do consider subscribing below by hitting the red button to join the channel and to catch all of the new content that will be coming up soon. Okay, so you've got to the 12, 18 month mark. They're not so much of a little baby anymore. You can get rid of some of those newborn essentials from the nappy bag, empty it out, give it a clean if you feel like it, and reload, ready for the next stage of parenting. They're running around, they're climbing, they're falling, they're a lot more trouble. They might be sleeping through the night, but the fun has just started. Full disclosure, one of my nappy bag essentials is the iPad. Might not agree with it, um, but when you're trying to eat a meal or do something or have a conversation, iPad is a lifesaver, like it or not. My son and daughter are completely different in their personality and characteristics. I think my daughter probably had like three accidents in her whole life. Uh, my son is basically most days. So plasters are definitely essential for when you've got a slightly older child who's running around. Literally, the scrapes and bumps are endless. And also with a toddler, you'll discover that life is basically snacks. Snacks rule their world. You don't need to give them all of them, but just make sure they're in there in case of emergency. OT bars are one thing that all toddlers seem to love. You can get them in loads of different flavours. Mine love carrot cake and strawberry. Um, but Aldi have just started doing their own version of those OT bars, which are amazing. These say from 12 months plus, but I always keep a couple of OT bars in the bag just in case. And one thing that my son, Hugo, who is two, absolutely loves is this. He calls it a click clack. I'm not sure on the exact name, but I will link it down below. It's basically this toy, of course it click-clack because it clicks. Um, it's this toy where it's got zips and clippers and things, and he can learn his colours, and he spends ages doing it up and doing it again, and it's squidging, it's got his face. Um, but that's a really cool thing to have on journeys or days out or if you're in a cafe and you're just trying to keep them entertained. Something I love is these skip hop pots. There's a really cool grippy handle. You can get them in loads of different designs. This is butterfly. Lift at the lid. The child can go inside, pick out um, like a dried snack. We might have Cheerios or some other dried cereal in there. That's basically what I use it for. Um, and it clips back down really secure. We got this free in a party bag. But honestly, a slinky is like a child's dream. I've been playing with this for ages. How I didn't have one of these before, I don't know. Hair bands is something else I always have. Myself and my daughter both have long hair. And this is something that you can keep in one of the smaller zippered pockets at the top of the nappy bag. Um, just, you're on a day out, you might have done your hair, windy, get it out of your face. I think for the first year or two, I basically lived with a high bun like high messy bun, not intentional, um, and again for the kids to keep hair out the face. Don't go anywhere without the drinks bottles. This is a children's camelback one. If you've seen my hospital bag video, you'll know how much I love camelback, and I love these kids' ones. Um, this is one that I got recently. I seem to get through mine really, really quickly. If you are breastfeeding, then you'll be drinking loads of water. And I find literally since having children that I'm thirsty all the time. I always keep books in our nappy bag, just because both of mine absolutely love it and they are really entertained by them. These little ones come in a tiny box. You can get them in all kinds of different themes. Peppa Pig in the Night Garden, Very Hungry Caterpillar. These are sort of hard board books. This is Thomas Tank Engine. Um, but they're really good for little fingers to play with. They're not too bulky, so that's quite a small thing that's quite neat to pop in. These books that have all these tabs down the side so the children can easily flick to different topics within the book. This is another one of Hugo's favourite books because the wheels turn around and on each page there's different questions for the children to answer. Something that's probably going to take over your life for the next few years is raisins. I don't think I've ever dealt with as many raisins in my life since becoming a mum. And these biscotti 
which I actually quite like as well. These are apple flavoured and they're kind of like rusks, they just melt in the mouth. But these are really good essentials and quite small to just pack in. And heading into autumn winter, another essential is mittens, which are way easier than gloves. Don't get children's gloves, they can't get their fingers in the holes and they like get frustrated. And these hats, again, they're going to take their hats off, they'll fall off, you'll lose them. Um, these ones go down over the ears, they're fleece inside and tie under the chin. Um, this is from Jojo Mama and Baby and wasn't cheap, I was like, you are not losing this. Tie it under the chin, it's not coming off. And then my final nappy bag essential is some Duplo blocks. You don't even need that many. They're just really handy for little fingers from one or 18 months right up to four to just build anything. They don't take up much room and might keep them occupied for a little while. Something else for me when I was out and about since becoming a mum I needed was paracetamol because I seem to be more susceptible to headaches and migraines. So I always had paracetamol and Migraleave. And again, that type of thing you can keep in one of these really secure inside zip pockets so the children aren't going to get their hands on it. And also a pen if you need to fill out any forms with a health visitor or at the doctor's or if you're visiting somewhere, pen is always handy. So there you have it, my baby and toddler essentials through the ages. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe below to catch all of the new videos coming up soon. Please give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it and that will let me know that you enjoyed it so I can make more videos like this for you. And leave me a note in the comments. I would love to know what emergency situation you've ever been in with your little one where you have needed something that you didn't have so that we can all learn from it uh, and make sure that we've got those essentials. I know for me, one item was I was breastfeeding Hugo, he was a newborn, I was potty training Felicity and we didn't have enough spare knickers. So if you are potty training your toddler, definitely take as many pants and knickers as you can squish into this bag because I think we may have got through 10 pairs in one day. So leave me a note in the comments and let me know what baby emergency situation did you have and what did you need. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.